Hey, what's up guys? My name is Carlos. Right here we got another hella JDM ride imported from Japan. Is it an EG1 Civic? No, it's not. It's actually a Honda Beat. What do you guys think? 91 Honda Beat, AKA PP1. Yes guys, this is a Honda. It's a combination of the Honda Civic, Del Sol. This is the S2K of 91 because it is convertible. But you know what's even better though? It's real wheel drive. Check it out. If we open the hood, right hand drive, if we open the hood, it also opens up like this. What do we have here? Just a spare. Nothing really. The engine's in the back. This is a manual top, so it takes a couple seconds to put down, no motors. So what you do, there's a zipper right here for the glass. I paid a little more, but this one's glass in the back. They're usually plastic. So once you do that, you come to the front, just like any other regular, like this, and voila, we got a convertible. All right, with the top down, let me show you guys the inside. You see these uh, seats right here, zebra print? That's actually original. You want these. A lot of people put the aftermarket ones, but I think they're pretty cool. Check out the uh, floor mats also. Zebra, you see that? open air right there you see the little logo it's sick it actually does have electric windows and it only comes in the manual transmission no automatics ac works this one's missing the original stereo i'll show you guys uh, i have another one with the original stereo what it looks like they upgraded to the momo steering wheel it works this is the other honda b that i imported i usually like to import two cars at a time just in case there's something wrong with one of them i can swap parts and that way i can figure it out this one I did a full repaint also, also the wheels. This one just needs a new top, I got it right now, just gotta install it. And this one does have the original stereo though, that's what it looks like. You see that little car right there? And right there in the seats, the zebra print. You see the gas lid right here? Tiny! How do you get to it? It's not on the floor, there's no button, it took me a minute, but you see this thing right here? It says fuel, right here. This really is an S2K from back in the days though. This one doesn't come with VTEC, it comes with MTREC. And what is MTREC? Multi-throttle, responsive engine control. It's the stuff in F1 cars. Right hand drive, check. Five speed manual, check. Engines in the back, check. This bad boy produces 64 horsepower with the three cylinder 600cc engine. Will it go on the freeway? I'm pretty sure it will, let's try it out. So the car is off to uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. 
California to Cincinnati, Ohio. I didn't get to finish the video with this one, so we're gonna have to do it with a different one right now. All right, so this is really a go-kart, a street legal go-kart. We're driving, got the top down. Everybody's looking at us, so if you're a shy person, I don't know if I recommend you buying one of these. We get pictures, videos, everything, all day, every day. The cool thing about this car is it'll make you a better driver too. One hand in the steering wheel, the other one on the gears. You don't want to be on your phone, you don't want to be texting, you don't want to be doing anything else besides paying attention because if you do get into an accident on this one, it could get pretty bad. Hey, but it is fun to drive though. For anybody thinking about buying one of these cars, do it. They're pretty fun. Everywhere you go, thumbs up. What is that car? Cool car, man. Ineto Kodoku. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See? Don't forget to like and subscribe. You hear, you hear that car behind me trying to race? This is us right here behind a truck. You can tell we're pretty low compared to other cars. There's a car on the side to us right here, the truck. Look at that. Nice car. Yeah, we got a thumbs up right there. He likes my car. What about the truck behind us? You know, guys that live, that drive uh, lifted trucks, compensated for something like that guy right there. But if you drive one of these, they don't know what's up. They don't know what's up. You're not compensating for anything. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't. Is it two lines or one? Now, we're at Dutch Pros right now. We're gonna get some coffee, but unfortunately, we realized something bad. You can only get one drink because there's no cup holders in this thing, man. There's no cup holders, so only the passenger can have one. Yeah, so basically, the passenger has to hold both drinks or anything. Because the driver can't do anything in this car. Except drive. That's one that's one drawback out of many good ones though. <laughs> so this is basically the height of the window right now for a regular car. So you'll see us right now. Yeah, so this is the size, look. I'm like perfect at the window. We barely fit. Knowing that scene in the first Fast of the Furious where they go underneath that truck. I think we could do it, man. I think we could do it. Ah, oh, no, those panels are. Yeah, no, the panels are in the way. If not, I think we could do it. Hey, I was just randomly driving. You guys want to see something cool? You guys ready? Check it out. It's my twin. It's the twin, man. Let's go check it out. As if one Honda Beat isn't cool enough. Hey, you got two of them right here, and also red. What do you guys think, man? You guys like the uh, the wheels on that one combo? Or you guys like the white wheels on this one combo? It's pretty sick, man. We're about to start our own club. This is a perfect example to show how big this car is for a small, regular Honda Accord sedan. The truck. Look how small this thing is, man. Tiny. It could probably fit in the back of the truck. Look how much space there's left over in the back, though. And in the front, how many people have come and say that it's cool, bro? Like seven to ten people. Right. Yeah, we're just stopping and taking pictures. We're just camera eating, and they just come and take pictures, say it's hella cool. Hey, yeah, they're not wrong though. It's in a bit, but we just came uh, to get the stuff for the Type R we're painting soon, and uh, I realized once we bought everything, man, I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit everything. So you can fill the gun on the paint. I got one of these, so two gallons, I got in the paint, that's pretty much it. Let me see. Let's see if it'll close though. Ooh, it won't even close. <laughs> it won't even close, we're gonna have to put it inside, never mind. So I don't know if 
I would take. I don't know if I would take it to Costco. So there you go. Perfect. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Drop a comment and let me know what you guys think about these street legal go-karts. What do you guys like better, the red or the silver?